After a year and a half without any info or footage, we finally got an update on Ghost of Tsushima with a small teaser that looks very awesome. And it's actually a real teaser for a way bigger trailer that will happen during the Game Awards on December 12th, so very, very soon. And Jeff Keighley, the host of the show, already confirmed on Twitter that this is going to be the longest trailer that they will show during the Game Awards. So I totally expect more than 5 minutes of new footage, likely the fight that gets teased in this short trailer. You are going to die today is what the Mongol warrior says and no I don't know the language I saw this comment under the IGN trailer from Tushik who was kind enough to translate it for us and by the way you can play the game with like full English translation but also play it in Japanese if you want. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the amazing outfit that Jin the main character is wearing I love the amazing mask and the small cape that is moving in the wind. And it's also completely different compared to the other outfits that we saw him wear in the previous trailers. Like we now got three trailers for the game and in every one of them he's wearing something else that we can likely unlock or craft in the game. And I said it during the State of Play reaction stream already and I will by the way link to that stream for if you want to see my live reaction uh, in a second. No, but many of the third person action games that came out this year like Sekiro, Days Gone and recently Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order all lacked any meaningful outfit customization. But this game seems to have that down and you of course want that from this type of setting. It's an open world RPG from Sucker Punch, the creators of Infamous, and it's really up there right now with one of my most anticipated games. It's like the Japanese Assassin's Creed that we never got. And now it will likely actually launch close to the rumored Viking Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Ragnarok, that is set to launch in fall 2020. Ghost of Tsushima got pushed recently because The Lost of Us Part 2 was delayed from February to May 29th, 2020. So it looks to be a summer, so August, maybe September 2020 game. And maybe we finally get some confirmation of that during the Game Awards. I really can't wait and will of course break down the new trailer and bring you all the new information for this PS4 exclusive. Like they once again said PS4, while I'm sure there will be like a PS5 version down the line, it will also come to PS4. It's not like an exclusive. I know some people maybe thought that, but no, it's really coming to PlayStation 4. Subscribe for everything Ghost of Tsushima. I will keep a close eye on all the news and keep you up to date here on the channel. Again, December 12th, we already get a really long trailer and I will break it down here. So stay tuned for that. Of course, a like on this video would be super appreciated if you are hyped for the game as well. And in the meantime, you can watch my reaction to the state of play for if you missed that and if you want to see that by clicking on the screen. I have the timestamps in a pinned comment under that stream. For now though, I will speak to you next time. Let me know if you are hyped for this game in the comments down below and goodbye.